What's up, guys? Team No Fat Chicks. Uh, we're on our way back home from uh, Indianapolis, and uh, there's one big moral lesson that you can take away from Indianapolis. Guard your fries. True that. Followed secondly by eat and sleep. Legit. It affects your gaming more than you think. I mean, man, Pat's the trooper out of all of us. I mean, he just kind of kept chugging along. But you me, go four and four, you go five and three. Five and three. Five and three. Five and three. Dude, I went fucking 3-0 and after I got my second loss. And then I got raped. I uh, Bad. jumped out of the bushes. You pulled down my pants and you trade raped me. Dude, I played a Dark World deck where three-fourths of his deck were spells and traps to stop summonings. Really? That just sucks. That does suck. But uh, for Gaz and I... Not as good of a story, but mine was mirrored. I went three and five. I think he's I Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I think he's I yet he's still driving. Yeah, he is. What? <laughs> I think I did about the same as his. I don't know. Honestly, about halfway through, I was just so hungry and like, like you could count on one finger. I oh, think the I think the funny part was is I think Put the pagan I think the pagan gods wanted to rage quit on uh, Kaz and Buckley because during like the fifth round like before the fifth round we we're like these two were I don't think they had either like at one win maybe and there's like can we go home it were it's like a five hour drive can we just go home and I was like no I still got a shot at it and they're like all right when you leave when you finally lose. Again, you will leave, and I agreed to it. And I didn't end up losing until the like final round. And it's just like, and the best part was, and I don't think that's the best part because I hated every second of it. I lost every dice roll, and I mean every dice roll. And from round three on, I lost every first duel and had to win the final two duels for match. It's not worth the trouble on an empty stomach. It's really not. Update on uh, Buckley Rage Quits on Indiana. I made a guy scoop. Uh, first duel, uh, I had him in a perfect place, and then I got Harold out. And he was like, yeah, okay, you win. So then I opened up the very next game, first turn, with a Harold Zen means of gachi combo. Like, I could not have asked for a better first hand. And it just went good from there. That was just one of my wins. And he's fan fucking fasting. But uh I really wish we could have brought so many more people. It's true. Hopefully for the next one, which shoot probably won't be until after the new year. Well we're gonna try to go to the one in Chicago again. It's relatively closer. And if you wanna hit us up, go ahead and do that. Yeah, seriously. Um really good competition in Chicago. Last time I went there, there's a really uh Little, little bit agent heavy there in Chicago, but not too bad. Actually, pretty decent setups. They like Chicago seems to have a lot of creative decks, and I'm a, the one thing I don't want to see there. And I'm probably gonna I will rage quit on some kid if I see more than three Dino Rabbit decks. I will legitimately gin and punch one of these children. <laughs> and that's coming from that's coming from me, who for the last two tournaments in a row now, had two duels that were total bogus, had no good hand. I went with Running Dragoonities. I was getting like every, I, I went a duel without getting Ravine, didn't get a single Dragoonity Wing Beast, or I went with a duel didn't get a single Dragoonity Tuner. In fact, I didn't get a single Tuner. And when I did, I got Book of Moon. It was, it was bad, and it was oh, rage quit all day, baby. Rage quit all day. But uh, we want. I want to try to get a second look at it. There's also a lot of gravekeepers, so it'll be a good, good experience for my team, and a good experience to see how how the deck will face up against more competition. It's a good point. So uh, if we don't hear, if we don't. Uh, you guys listen.
Happy holidays from Team No Fat Chicks. Uh, celebrating whatever it is, winter solstice. We know begging guy who's gonna go sit in a circle of candles on his front yard. You do what you do. Covariance won't come to my house and sit in my front lawn and do it. That's nice. That's the thing. All right, uh, this is Team No Fat Chicks. Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys later. See ya. I'm Pat, Captain Buckley, and our token Asian guy. Watch Kay. our deck list profiles, and we will be updating them.